Okay, the three-step solution to any problem, AKA the fundamentals of making a plan and sticking to it. So here's what I know. You're a smart person and you feel a little stuck. Now you might be stuck at, I know exactly what I want and I don't know how to make it happen. Or you might be stuck at, I know I want something and that is all I know. But you know you're capable of achieving more and you know you're capable of feeling better and that's what I want to help you with because that is the place that I stayed stuck for many, many years and I don't want you to stay stuck there for that long because it's unnecessary. So let's talk about smart logic brain creatives like you and me. We don't like being stuck because we like solving problems. We are problem solvers. We seek out challenges in the world because otherwise life would be boring. Where we get stuck is when we feel like challenges have happened to us. When we feel like we have been, problems have been thrust upon us that we can't find our way around. So when you get to this place, I want you to always have a way out. That's what I didn't feel like I had, which is why I stayed stuck for so long. So that's why I'm sharing this three-step solution for making a plan and sticking to it, no matter what the problem is. It's the fundamental foundation of my coaching program. It's what I use to guide clients through every goal they want to set and every problem they want to solve, which means that you are now going to have a solution to solve any problem. Sounds good, right? So I want you to start thinking about problems in this way. Just try this on. 25% of our problems are external. 75% of them are internal. I'm making up the ratios here, but it doesn't matter. You're just going to agree with me for a second that this is all true. 25% of what slows us down, of what feels difficult, of what challenges us, on our way to where we want to go are external circumstances. These are logistics, tangible things in the world. $3,000 in your bank account when you want to spend $5,000, right? A degree that you have that doesn't match the requirements of a job you want. Or when you want someone to do something like buy your art or green light your project and you can't force them to do what you want. Those are external issues, okay? The rest of what slows us down, way more than half the time, is internal. So these are problems that we create ourselves using our habits and our biases and our limited thinking and our self-sabotage behavior, right? And often these problems, these internal problems, are born out of how we respond to those external problems. That makes sense. What we choose to think when we see $3,000, but we want to spend $5,000 or what we make it mean when we don't have that degree that this job requirement says I, we need or what we conclude about what our options are now that someone has rejected our plan or proposal. So this might seem like I'm saying really all your problems are your fault, so just be better. And that's definitely not the point here. This is all actually great news that we're talking about because it means that most of the challenges in your way are totally within your control. Most of the things in between you and your hopes and dreams are things that you are in charge of. This is good news. This is what we want. What we don't want is for most of the things in our way to be totally out of our hands. That is when we resign ourselves to our circumstances and we just think, okay, life gets to tell me where I get to go now. And none of us wants that. So these fundamentals are your anchor. They're the keystones that you can always come back to because they're always your way back to control, to being able to take a step forward. And if you're like me, you're a big control freak anyway, and this sounds great, and I don't have to convince you any further because you do want to be in charge of everything. So this is my main point. This could be the perspective shift that actually changes everything about the way you're thinking about your goals 
And we haven't even gotten into the solution part yet. How fun is that? The more you believe you are in control, the easier you make it to move through obstacles instead of automatically stopping at them. That's what I want you to take away from this idea and bring into these fundamentals that I'm going to teach you. So let that sink in. You have so much more control than you might feel like you have right now. 75% of the things that are feeling like challenges right now could be solvable, totally internally solvable without anything or anyone outside or you changing. Think about that. Think about if 75%, three quarters of your problems right now could be solved just by you. Nobody else needs to do anything. No, nothing outside of you needs to change. When you get good at spotting and solving for these internal obstacles, the bonus is that you get even better at solving for that external 25%. So I want to say something to just note before we move on into the steps. I want you to know it's totally normal if you feel a little resistant to this idea, because I did too. Everybody does. Because it could sound really good on paper, like, oh, I have so much control, this is fun. But your brain might also be currently shouting at you a bunch of examples of real external challenges that you're dealing with right now. It's important to be clear that we are not trying to invalidate those. We're not saying your problems aren't real and you should be able to solve everything. Because you might be facing a lot of challenges that are truly outside of your control right now, and they might feel like a lot more than 25%. So what I'm here to do is help you activate your resourcefulness. Really own what you want so fiercely that you don't let obstacles stop you from getting what you want. I want you to find where you have more options than you think you do. Find where you do have more control than your habits and your biases are leading you to believe. Because we want to find every ounce of agency in your life that you're not feeling access to currently and we want to utilize the hell out of it. We want to make you so in charge where you can be. Because you deserve to believe that what you want is possible. We, you deserve to feel like you have a say in making your goals and your dreams and your hopes and your wildest fantasies come true. So try this on. As you learn this three-step process, start using this new way of thinking to respond to obstacles in a new way. Because I want to leave you with this. You might have absolutely nothing to lose by trying this on. Right? You might have nothing to lose by believing 75% of my problems are solvable by me. And you might just have everything to gain by believing it. So we're going to find out together. Go ahead and dive into the three steps. And remember, when you are ready to take all this to the next level, book your free consult. And we're going to talk about how you can get on board with owning everything you want and getting to work, making it happen. Until then, enjoy the three-step solution for any problem aka the fundamentals. I'll see you there.